Queen of Nothing, which I actually managed to find, so that's really, really good. And um, yeah, so really happy with that. And ended up spending more money than I should, but I don't often go to Waterstones much anymore, so I end up getting 10 to 20 books every time. Got quite a few hardbacks, some paperbacks, but yeah, Queen of Nothing, I've got so yeah, it's a got it a day before release so I've cancelled my pre-order and I'm gonna start it today which is really exciting I honestly honestly can't wait so yes yeah, so it's really cool and uh, yeah so I've got some Christmas presents luckily I've only got a small family so I've got one for my nan for my uncle and uh, my aunt and cards and uh, yeah, so pretty much like Christmas present for myself and Christmas presents for everybody else. Got some wrapping paper. I spent quite a lot of money today, but I'm kind of glad that it's all done. And uh, yeah, so I'm trying to time it so that I can go home and then order some pizza that I can have for the rest of today, as I could have that for lunch. And then I can have some later for dinner because it's Monday, which means half price pizzas, which is always a good thing. So yeah, so just walking up to my car now. I'm gonna take a slow drive home and yeah, then order some pizza, pizza, pizza. So yeah, I will speak to you guys soon. I just wanna give you a quick little overview of what I got today other than books so down here you will see Christmas presents so these three the massive lint chocolate the licorice and the sanctuary box size for my nun I've got a pack of 30 Christmas cards for my work this box set is for my aunt and I sparse set this Dove Men Care is going to be for my uncle and then these two which is this mini spa bag and these candles they're going to be for my mum and then the final present that I've got are just these doggy Christmas presents whereas this is like sort of like doggy Christmas crackers and chicken candy cane so that'll be for Willow I've got some Christmas wrap which I also got from Poundland and then I got some Christmas cards one of these would go to my aunt and then I got these like funny rude sort of cards so this one is gonna be for my mum so I hope you have a very happy Christmas and then <laughs> merry ducking Christmas I'm gonna give to my nan and then this one here ain't nobody got time for that shit it's gonna go to my uncle yeah my nan um 
and my uncle and my mum can take sort of humour like that. My aunt sometimes she gets a little bit offended so better to play it safe with a nice card for her and that way I've got some spares here as well that I can give. I also got one of these two that I can send off to my friend Nasley as well. So yeah so I've been uh, crimbo shopping today and then I can at least get these all wrapped and ready but I'll sort that all out later. So I've done my Christmas shopping. Those are my books which I've shown you guys in a haul. Got myself some snackies. So I've got some chocos and some sweets because I need a sweet fix. And then over here, these are more like luxuries I suppose. Got myself an advent calendar from Poundland. But I've also got a Harry Potter advent calendar for a charm bracelet which I got from Asda. I've got three movies, Detective Pikachu, I got The Lion King and I got Aladdin. Now Aladdin I've seen, these two I haven't. Aladdin is amazing so that's why I've got it. Lion King, I mean these were only £10 each so I've got these new movies to watch so that's brilliant. got two new bath towels, this is what I meant by adulting and they're really soft and they were three pound each for these hand towels so I thought I can use these as my new hand towels I then got one of these advent calendar sort of like blocks where you can change the date I was like that's quite handy for me and ibuprofen very boring I've got chocolate and then I've got a Christmas saurus because it reminds me of a dragon slash dinosaur so it's like a yeah it's more of a dinosaur really but I think it's really cool like that I got an actual limited edition Christmas saurus there was only one left actually so yeah I thought it was perfect so yeah so that is literally what I got today I am gonna go I've got my pizza now it's like over here pizza and look at these cheesy chips oh man gonna enjoy that so I'm gonna indulge in that and then I'm going to begin the queen of nothing but I'm already I'm all prepared I'm so excited and I'm really looking forward to it <laughs> Today is Thursday and today is actually an official day off. Yesterday I was meant to work but I woke up half past three in the morning pretty much emptying whatever was on my chest. Just so much like mucus, yeah it was gross that's what I'm gonna say. So I didn't go into work, um, I sort of explained it to the nurse at work and I was like look this is what I've been doing, I don't think it's a good idea for me to, she agreed so yeah i then went to the doctors and he said that my chest was all clear but i gave a sort of i gave a sputum sample so that they can assess it at the hospital because they've been meaning to because you know if i'm getting infections they need to sort of assess it but it could be that it's just a virus it could be um a sort of viral infection that i've got and my lungs that could be clearing up so I've got some antibiotics that I was given just in case I do get worse because it's like near and closer to the weekend so I woke up a couple of times during the night last night um, I remember one time it being near three in the morning or four in the morning or something and then the second time I woke up at seven o'clock in the morning I took some more pain relief, ibuprofen and paracetamol and those seem to help with like bringing my temperature down to like normal because I, I get like really hot and sweaty and my th 
throat here is really swollen so I take those seems to help I have like some strepsils some throat lozenges sort of thing like if I if I need to I've been drinking loads hence why I've got a massive jug of water just over there that I've been drinking so I'm keeping my fluids up and I'm drinking tea every now and then as well as to sort of like calm me put the heating on last night as well so it's because it's storage heaters they've gone on during the night whilst I was sleeping so the flat is nice and warm for me as well hopefully the washing should be near to dry as well my work manager has asked me if I need to work up the hours when I'm feeling better to let him know so I was like okay well today I'm not 100% <clears throat> I probably could go in but I don't want to like push myself sort of thing I was umming an hour and thinking mm, I could work like a little bit like maybe this evening and then I started feeling kind of crappy again which I've taken some more painkillers again today my nan came over as well around 11 o'clock and it's now quarter past 12 which means I need to get some lunch soon because I am starting to get a little bit hungry so it was really nice she brought Willow and we had a good little natter. I made her a cup of tea where they had a biscuit and some chucky drops and then I showed her the Christmas presents I got for all of the family apart from her so it was really nice to share that with her and uh, yeah <clears throat> reminiscing about things so seven o'clock this morning and even before I went to bed last night I did read and it just goes to show that I am in the mood for reading and it really sucks because I could have read this the day that I got it but then I got tired and then I just I just yeah I just I just didn't get back into it but I read I read like a hundred pages of it the first day that I got it and then day two of having it was when I went to work and I worked to 7 to 2 and that was Tuesday and then I was just like mm, I'm starting to feel a bit rough and tired and I remember just I don't it, I don't even think I read anything that day and so yesterday I, I went back into it and um, I read a few more chapters so I read 73 pages yesterday so that's really good and then this morning I've done a bit of reading, so I'm now on chapter 20, I'm on page 173, I'm really enjoying this book so far, some people have already finished it and this is the annoying thing, if I wasn't ill I could have had this finished because I was really really into it and like I'd be doing it where I'd read a few chapters and then I'd have a little break because like I'm so tired and I'm well and then I get back into it <clears throat> and it's just like oh it just, it honestly it honestly sucks put it that way so yeah so it's it's not been going brilliant let's just say that it's not been going like massively brilliant but I'm doing what I can so I just wanted to update you on what's happened so far this week so <clears throat> today day off I'm just gonna chill I'm just gonna relax I would like to film a couple of videos but I'm not entirely sure what I, I, I was thinking last night of a video that I could film but I can't, it's gone it's gone right now and I can't I can't even think about what the video is I've got my book haul from Castle Point that I could edit and upload today so that's a that's an idea <clears throat> um so yeah really i just want to do some more reading of this baby because like i am enjoying it i'm actually past the halfway mark i'm literally just past it it's so good like i'm loving it so much and yeah it's just one of my favorite series by far and i'm just i can't believe it is the finale book and i just i feel like i'm gonna cry i feel like i'm gonna i feel like it's just gonna hit me in the feels at the ending my goodness someone's gonna die like someone's gonna die like they always have some sort of death in the, in these fantasy novels like someone someone dies you know somebody died in the second book and yeah someone's someone's gonna die like who we'll know about it but i'll talk about that more in my reading vlog but yeah so just gonna take it easy probably watch some tv do some reading that sort of thing I would like to read loads I wouldn't I'd love it if I could finish this book today that'd be really good because I really want to go on to We Hunt the Flame and that'd be really good 
so yeah thursday is always a funny day um so i'm gonna head off now and i will speak to you guys soon hey guys so today is friday and i didn't quite get to finish my book yesterday and i got really frustrated yesterday actually because i was uploading a video of like a book haul and it fell the first time like through the video editor so i was uploading it for youtube and then it literally had like eight minutes of uploading time left and it took ages to upload because it was quite a big video and then my laptop decided to do a windows update without my permission and it shut the laptop down so it meant that i lost the upload and i was so frustrated i was just like seriously oh my goodness like i was I was so annoyed and um, so I I was just like you know what let's be all zen and calm about this these things happen but yeah I was so annoyed and the update was just uh so my internet has been quite slow like the past couple of days ever since I got the new router so I don't know if that's just because it's updating to like the internet I'm gonna be getting BT fiber on the 26th so I'm not entirely sure whether it's just sort of like adapting to maybe this new fiber sort of thing I'm not really entirely sure but um, yeah Netflix was kind of down for a bit yesterday like for me in my area like the website said that it was down in certain areas so that kind of sucked so yeah so I didn't really have Netflix for a bit so I did quite a bit of reading actually yesterday and then I I actually turned on my PlayStation 4 which I haven't done in like a year and I think the last game that I played on PlayStation 4 it was either Final Fantasy 15 or it was the Spyro trilogy I can't really remember it's one of the one of the two actually no it was the Witcher I remember that now so I literally just started the Witcher so I yeah, haven't played it in like a year, which is, is mental, but I mostly was playing my Xbox One. So anyway, so I fired it up and had a massive update to go on there. It said, well, originally it said it was like a four hour update, but I think in the end it only took like an hour or two. So it updated anyway, and then I started Final Fantasy X because I've had a massive urge and I started it from where I left off anyway and um, I, I went from there I just just played a little bit of it because I wanted to play a bit whilst my video was uploading to YouTube all for nothing because bloody Windows 10 I, I could murder it honestly I could murder it so yeah I've got that to do today I've got to re-upload it again to YouTube which it's frustrating but you know it happens I just got I just got grin bear it feel a bit better today I still feel a little bit rough my throat here there's like glands that are like here I'd say that yeah the ones that are like here here especially they're really swollen at the moment they're like eggs at the moment in my opinion and I can feel them that they're swollen so I'm going to take some ibuprofen and paracetamol in a bit. I was reading The Queen of Nothing last night before sleeping. And I've now only got 30 pages left. So today's plan is to finish this. Then I need to put my laundry away because that's all dried now. And then I need to go into my laptop and upload the, the book haul video again and play some fun of fantasy 10 it's about time it's about time but i would also like to start my next book as well which is we hunt the flame which is my group read book i would like to start that at least today as well so i might start that like later or something so who knows what's going to happen i might get really obsessed with final fantasy 10 again i haven't played that for a couple of years but i was listening to the music the other day whilst reading and i was just like i want to play it again so yeah so that's like my main agenda for today and yeah just chilling relaxing and getting those bits done but main priority is finishing the queen of nothing second main priority is getting that video uploaded 
and then I can play at the same time and then I also would like to start We Hunt the Flame. So that's my main agenda for today. I will let you guys know either tomorrow or later tonight whether I actually manage to achieve all of that. If not, I'll let you guys know on the Sunday because I know that I'm working all day tomorrow. I will probably get a phone call from work at some point today asking if I'll be in tomorrow. I will just tell them, yep, I'll do it. I will pull through if I find that I am struggling tomorrow somehow. Then, you know, I'm sure they can send me home sick or something so I'll do my best but if I really am struggling I'll, I'll, I'll let them know sort of thing so yeah that is the plan the agenda and everything I really really I really wanted to catch up with I'm a Celebrity because I haven't watched it since it's been on this year and I missed it because I was working and then I missed it because I was stupidly missing it. Like, I haven't been watching normal TV. So, and I'm missing it because I'm sleeping. I'm missing it because I'm unwell. Like, I'm missing it because of so many things. And I really, really want to watch it and catch up with it. But I don't know when. I literally don't know when. So I don't know whether to do it on, like, Sunday or something. And, like... I don't I really don't know like I need to I need to find a day to watch it but I don't I was gonna do it yesterday but then I didn't because I was focusing on the Queen nothing and then I was like oh, I could do it today but then I was like no I really want to like game so I don't know when I'm gonna do it basically but you know I might end up watching it like after all happens <laughs> you know oh I don't know some point next week maybe like I don't know if I find time Sunday I'll do it Sunday if not you know um I am looking forward to oh actually do you know I was thinking like today when I do finish the queen of nothing I'm thinking of filming my review and book talk because I've got notes for the spoiler reception and the non-spoiler section normally is quite easy because I can talk about the basics of the book without spoiling and then the spoiler section is where I just talk about bits that happened and my opinion of it and how I felt and that sort of thing so I'm really excited to film that um, I've also got a book haul for November that I need to edit as well at some point because I haven't bought any more books in November apart from the Castle Point book haul but yeah the ones in the post I don't have any coming as far as I'm aware sort of thing so yeah that's that's all really and at some point I do need to do my movie review of Joker when I'll do that different story so I don't really know but I need to I need to film that at some point because I I haven't really done I haven't done a movie review, like a proper movie review. I've done like a book to movie review of Five Feet Apart and The Host and that sort of thing, but I haven't done that just a movie review sort of thing. So I need to sit down and really like write notes and then just film it. So that'd be another thing to do at some point. So at least I do have some things to do in that sort of like area. Anyway, so I'm gonna head off now. I think I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and then have some painkillers first and then get cracking with this book and then to get everything all sorted and yeah I will speak to you guys very very soon. Good afternoon I've finished the queen of nothing I'm now going to get some lunch and I'm thinking of having a BLT sandwich because I do love my bacon, my lettuce and my tomato. I don't know whether that's like a, a British sandwich thing but either way it's it's always amazing so I'm just gonna get all of that out I'll have to cook the bacon but the handy thing about bacon is that it cools down like really really fast so I'm gonna have that for my lunch and I've got a doctor's appointment 3 p.m. this afternoon what pisses me off is that I keep going I keep going hot cold hot cold I keep going phlegmy chest to not phlegmy chest to 
having some sort of pain here don't know whether it's a strain pain so anyway I've called the doctors and I'm like look can I take these antibiotics or not so they were like let me come and see you first so they're gonna take some notes from me we'll see and yeah we'll go from there to be honest I feel like just taking these antibiotics today anyway if if they help me they help me if they don't then they don't but you know if I've got some sort of infection on my body anyway especially because I've been getting some abscesses then surely it would help wouldn't it regardless if there's an infection in my body antibiotics should clear it so I don't know I don't know but I keep going from those periods of like feeling better to feeling like crap and I keep bouncing between them I'm still gonna go to work tomorrow unless I'm literally like throwing my guts up or if I'm really really unable to work I, I need to go in so it, it's gonna be done I it's a full day shift but I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to it I'm gonna pull through it I mean it's a Saturday as well which you know bit more laid back than during the week and yeah I'll just go at my own pace and I will explain to them that I am unwell and well they know that I've been unwell so I just I just will tell them that I'm still unwell and that I will do the best that I can so yeah I'm I'm gonna get some lunch now and then I don't really know like what I'm gonna do for the next like hour or so I might read a bit more because now that I'm doing that I'm like oh I'm in the mood for reading so yeah and I might film a couple of videos I need to put my laundry away though I still haven't done that actually but at least I managed to get out of bed my video is uploading my internet has been really slow the past few days ever since I've put that new router on so don't really know what's causing slow internet whether it's because it's a new router that's getting used to my internet because it's a fibre router so who knows but I'm going to wait it out I'm going to see what it's like around the 26th when I meant to get the fibre internet so I'm going to I'm going to wait and see by like the end of I don't know let's just say like the end of next week or something I'll see how it is by this time next week and if it's still not good this time next week, I will contact BT and be like, Biatch, I'm meant to have faster internet. Why is it shit? <laughs> but I'm hoping that it's going to be a lot better since I get fibre. So yeah, so I'm going to get some lunch now, get something down me and I might read. I'm definitely wanting to play some Final Fantasy X later I did kind of start it last night like I said uh, didn't do much though but I would like to start it later so yeah that's the plan to go to the doctors see what they say and then for the rest of the day I'm probably going to play some Final Fantasy X see how I do with that so I might, I might just for now get some reading done um, and get that out of the way and then we'll see how we go from there but yeah that's it really just wanted to give you a quick update of what's going to happen for today and i will speak to you guys soon mm -hmm.